survive without Jesus. I can't survive without him. I can't survive without Jesus. When I think about everything that God has done for me, I mean everything that God has done for me. How he picked me up out of my muck and out of my mire and everything that, all the mess I was in, all the abortions I had, how when I was in the church I did everything under the sun that I could possibly do. Come on. And I know somebody can witness to that. I mean, I sung in the choir every Sunday. And I'm telling you, I beat the club down. And I beat it having sex, ungodly sex outside of marriage. And God was so merciful, he didn't let me die my sin. And then I kept getting pregnant and having abortion after abortion. And God didn't let me die. I'm telling you, I come to give God the glory. I come to give him all the praise. Because there's nobody like my God. Nobody like my God. Nobody like my God. a young girl who was abused and molested at an early age. And then one day that young girl grew up and she went to church Sunday after Sunday. But she didn't realize that God loved her and that Jesus really did have a good plan for her life. But I'm glad I'm standing here today and now I know who God is. And now I know I can't live without him. I can't breathe without him. I can't move without him. I can't walk without him. I can't talk without him.
You're our provider. Everything that we need. You're everything that we need, God. Everything that we need, God.
sometimes what the devil means for a curse, God turns it into a curse. I'm not going to, let me, let me reword that for some people who might say, Sister Sherry said the wrong thing. Sometimes things look like they're a curse, but they're really a blessing. Because the Bible says all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. And are the called according to his purpose. Now I honor my mama on tonight because when my mama gave birth to me, she was a baby. She was 13 years old. Now, how many of you know she could have aborted me? But she didn't. And mama, I'm telling you tonight, I love you. And I honor you. I thank God for you, mama. I love you, mama. I love you and I honor you. And as a token of our love, as a matter of fact, come here, mama.
be cracking. But you know what? I've been in bird's group a long time ago. Because how embarrassing is that to get up and go to church and leave the church, go to the club? That's real embarrassing. So as I was standing up here, and I ain't giving the devil no glory, no credit. But as my voice was cracking, the devil said, look, if you up here cracking, you sound a bad, you sound a hot mess. But you know what? The devil's under my feet. The devil's under my feet. Because I'm grateful. If God don't never do another thing for me, he's already done enough. And I mean, when I say he's done enough, he saved me, he healed me, he delivered me, he set me free. I still got my right mind. I didn't die. What's hell wide open? And guess what? The best thing that can happen if I was to die right now, I'd go home to be with Jesus. Anybody grateful? I said 
said, I'm going in the town. God, I'm done. It's blessing. Over and over. It seemed like my pain would not go away.
was something special planned for my mommy. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. And we're not going to sing this time. Let me try <laughs> my shoes acting up. Brother, where are you? I'm a big crybaby. I know I seem like I'm tough as death. I am a big crybaby. 